And uh, away they go in the listed East Cape Breeders Stakes from the 1200 meter marker. Kimmy's Lassie on the far side began well. It's got the white head gear racing up there. Passion Dale leaving Las Vegas. The green cap is in between runners. Esther's down the middle in the yellow cap. Then came Golden Pacific. Three Rocks is just off the leading line. Then Luna Halo. Body Electric's dropping back a few places. Then Unconquerable Lady, the red cap, Montalina's on its outside, Miss Greenlight further back, then Cherie for me, European Summer further back in the field, then Mythical Dream and racing behind them, Pineapple Mint Green. Coming down to the last 500 metres and out in front is Esther, leads the way, two off the left-hand side, yellow sleeves and cap, Passchendaele on the inside, Pineapple Mint Green looking to run on towards the far side, then Golden Pacific further back in the field is Miss Greenlight as they come down to the last 200, Passchendaele's in front, Miss Green light down the center and Pineapple Mint Green down the inside a big contender as well. Golden Pacific further back in the field. It's Pineapple Mint Green from Miss Green Light on the outside trying its hardest, but Pineapple Mint Green will win it. Second place will go to Miss Green Light. Then came Passchendaele, Golden Pacific, and Unconquerable Lady further back. Gimme's Lassie. Yes, you heard on replay. Pineapple Mint Green went through down the far inside. The red and white colours under Corne offer picks it up. Miss Green lights down the centre in the black cap and running a big race as well. But it will go the way of Pineapple Mint Green, who's victorious in the East Cape Breeder Stakes listed event over 1,200 metres here at Fairview today. 15, 5, 11, photo 4, 10 and 12. Well, a thrilling rendition of the East Cape Breeders Stakes, a listed event here in the Eastern Cape, and we really had a stellar field lining up. It's gone the way of the Cape Raider, and that is Pineapple Mint Green, who's come through really well under Corne Orford to take the win. Great performance from her. Now, her groom, Akon, Akon is not here today. He's busy seeing to her and uh, will be in receipt of the World Sports Betting 1,500 Rand winning groom initiative, as well as a wonderful trophy as a memento. So very well done to him in his absence. Great job with the filly. Corne standing by, he's going to step in and join me now. He's made the trip specially for the daughter of Gimme the Green Light and Corne. I'm sure it's been fantastic. Well done. Thank you very much, yeah. Now, we watched her go down. You took her down carefully, um, caught up with Mr. Sands early in the week, said the work was good um, and that she can sometimes be a little bit above herself. So you took her down carefully. She moved well, but my gosh, she unleashed late and came through with a great finish. Yes, Nadine, she's a, she's a completely different beast uh, from here to, to work in our... Mr. Sands, uh, uh, just a big thanks to him and the owners for, for bringing me up to come and ride her, firstly. And uh, went up to, to go and work her, and he said to me, look, just be careful with her, because she's quite fasty and uh, yeah. very, very different. Yeah, she was, uh, maybe the new surroundings also yeah. calmed her down a little bit, which was nice. She went down really nicely and uh, never gave me any problems. Came out, Good. pace is quite fair, yeah, so she, we knew she was probably going to be run off her feet slightly. And Mr. Sands said, just, uh, you know, give her in behind and then uh, sit on her as long as you can. But, she kind of, I kind of moved up a little bit earlier than I wanted to, but I wasn't worried about it because halfway through the race, she was, she was traveling so comfortable under me that I didn't want to run up some things yeah. behind and then have to ease on her. So I opted to pull her out and let her start extending. She's got a nice big action for a small filly and uh, she won a very nice race. She certainly did. Uh, we thought a lot of a good couple of the horses that were involved um, in this field today, fellow Cape Raiders, some good local horses. She's beaten a nice field. Well done. I think so, definitely, because we came down here uh, with one of our horses that we thought had a big chance. Obviously, we went, we moved from mm -hmm. the the grass track to the poly, so I think our chances were a little bit dust there, but uh, we thought we could beat that field that day, and I th it was very similar to this field yeah. today, so I thought you won a very good race, and just well done to Mr. Sands again and to all his owners. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Gail standing by to present you with a bottle of bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> and very, very well done. Kone, it's been great Thank having you. you down here. Congratulations. Mr. Sands, if you could just grab the mic and when you come on in. Absolutely wonderful to welcome you to our winner's box. And uh, I've got to say congratulations. I think she's done you proud this afternoon. Yes, I'm really happy. And uh, thank you very much. And the hospitality. Uh, uh, get a black top for the Kalmansons, for Hannah, Alice, yeah. Charlotte. Oh, oh, I can't think yeah. of them all. There's a and just span, a big thank yeah. you to Susan and John for allowing us to bring her down here. It's uh, the young cousin's first horse, and uh, she's now one of features. So. Really lovely to have the, the next generation of Kalmansons in racing. We welcome them, they're great people. 
And it's nice to get black type under the belt this early in her career. Uh, the way that she's won today, I'm sure you expect a whole lot more for her, but that's already a box ticked. She's, uh, she can't, she's not the easiest filly. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes she makes her own troubles and that, but um, today the pace was really on and it's uh, lovely. When pace is on like that, and you're sitting last and you're not even four lengths off them, uh, you couldn't have asked for a better script. Cornerado well, and uh, well done to him. Um, what more can I say? Akon, unfortunately, he couldn't get up here. Yeah. He had to look after his filly. We didn't come down with a host of grooms. We just came down with him, but uh, thanks to all. Well, I'm sure he'll appreciate the trophy that you take down for him. I've got Gail standing by. She's got the trophy and your bubbly, but I think, Gail, let's just bring the trophy over because we're going to run short of hands here. It's a magnificent trophy and one I think that the owners are going to be really, really Thank chuffed with. It's much. beautiful and a huge congratulations again. Thank you very much. Well done. Thanks. Got to say, once again, a big thanks to Mr. Eric Sands. Earlier in the week, we contacted him. His thoughts towards his horse, he was short and sweet, fit and well, very happy with her last work. As we can see, that last work must have been phenomenal. She's in the winner's box. She's got black type to her name and very well done to all the owners. She certainly has done a great job winning this listed race in Eastern Cape this afternoon.